Welcome back to Franchise TV. On this channel, I'll unbox anything. So today, I actually have a package from a website that I don't know if it's real or not. Let me tell you about this. On Instagram, I follow an account, Dr. Applesauce. He is a pretty popular like Funko Pop influencer, pop culture, collectibles, and he uh, posted a link or like a picture on his Instagram of a company called Toy Drops, like toydrops.com. And he posted a picture of this company that had the Michael Jordan Funko Pop, the Upper Deck exclusive for $39.99 free shipping. Okay, and you're saying, okay, that sounds like a lot of money for a little Funko Pop toy, right? Okay, but here's, here's, here's the kicker. It's worth like 80 bucks. How are they selling it for 40? And who is toydrops.com? So I went, I checked them out online. And they actually have older pops that are actually for sale on the website. I have been in the sneaker game, as you can see behind me, for many, many years now. And in the sneaker game, there are a lot of counterfeit, a lot of fake replica sneakers. You gotta be careful websites you buy from. And if sometimes if it sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. So on this toydrops.com, I'm seeing Funko Pops of Jordan, $39.99 free shipping. These sell for 80 bucks. How are these how are these half price? They had some older vaulted pops on the website, at least when I looked at it originally. They might be sold out now. They had Goonies Pops on the website. Goonies Pops. They've got the mouth, data. Oh, they had the rest of them too. Here's mouth, data, chunk. And they had the other one. Looks like the other one sold out, but they had all the Goonies Pops for pretty much half price of what they were worth with free shipping. How's that possible? Those pops are vaulted. They don't make them anymore. You can't buy them anymore. How is that possible? Then scrolling down, they had the Step Brothers pops available. The Dale Doback and the Brennan Huff pops. They have the Dale Doback for $49.99, the Brennan for $39.99. Uh, I think the Dale Doback, that's pretty close to what it's worth. That's actually a pretty good deal right there for those two. Those are vaulted. They don't make them anymore. They haven't made them for years. How do they have those? And here, they actually, they're offering them there $69.99 with free shipping. A set of two. So you, look, I just put them to my cart. A set of two, 70 bucks, free shipping into my cart. I mean, go ahead and me take a picture of that one. $69.99, free shipping. So this website is selling pops that are long vaulted, are no longer being made. They're not available anywhere. They're selling them for literally like half of what, they, of, of what they're worth. So, it's just kind of like a test, as a trial. I had to see, do they sell authentic pops on this website? Toydrops.com? Because I was hit up by quite a few people saying, hey, are these pops real? Should we buy these? And I said, you know what, I, I don't know. I even hit up uh, Will, Dr. Applesauce. I asked him too, I was like, dude, is this website legit? He was like, he doesn't even know for sure either. Um, one of my friends, uh, DJ Dells, he actually bought a couple of these Jordan Pop, and he got them in, and he said, they're real. And I was like, no way, that's impossible. And, but he's been in the game himself, the, the sneaker game, for longer than I have been by a long time. And uh, so I don't know how it's possible, if this website's legit, how they actually got these Pops and they're selling them for way under value. I don't know. So here's how they're shipped. Okay, here's my receipt. Don't want to show my address. So here's the shipping. They come wrapped in brown paper. Sometimes what websites do, let's say like a Funko kind of a website, they actually might have a secondary website that you don't know it's actually them selling it. Like they might have a website called toydrops.com where they sell overstock liquidated old goods like i've questioned that before i actually was talking to will dr applesauce like do you think toydrops.com might actually be funko.com that actually might be funko 
like an umbrella of, of the fungal company, them selling, you know, some of their older pops, like their Goonies pops that are vaulted. They're not made anymore. Is it possible that they found cases and cases and cases in an old warehouse somewhere and they just put them onto this other website of theirs that nobody knows it's them? Well, it can't be them because this toydrops.com also sell fig pen that's not associated with Funko, so it's obviously it's not Funko then. So that blew that that theory out of the water. So who is this toydrops.com? I don't know. Let's find out. Are these Jordan Pops? Are these things real? Are they actually selling authentic pops for like half the value what they're worth? It even came in a freaking protector case. Okay, the protector case is actually, it's, it says toydrops.com on it. This actually looks like a, a chalice protector case. Like the actual, like the build of it. It's not a chalice case, it's, it kind of has the feel of a chalice collectible protector case. Pull this thing out, look at this box very closely. There's Michael Jordan. There's the upper deck sticker. There is the NBA hologram on it. Looking at the box of it. The box looks good. The sticker looks good. The stickers all have, the NBA stickers all have a number on them. So you actually could legit check the actual NBA stickers themselves. It's got the proper stampies on the bottom of the box. Let me actually see the actual figure. See what the figure feels like, what it looks like. Because sometimes the fake Funko Pops, they just, the actual figures itself, they don't feel right. Okay, the bottom of the shoe. A lot of times you look at the bottom of the shoes, you can kind of see. Okay, this this thing looks it looks legit. I don't see anything about this that would scream counterfeit or fake. The bottom of the feet of these pops, lots of times, like they'll have the numbering on them. Like this is FM one nine one one zero four. I don't see anything about this. That would scream fake to me whatsoever. The box feels right, looks right, has the right numbering on it, has the right stickers, the right shape, the right numbering. Let's go ahead and check out the other pop. Let's see what it looks like. Once again, it's in a protector case. So that's kind of crazy. I might have to go back on this website and buy some more of their pops just to see if they're, if they're real or not. I mean, it's like, try of their older vaulted pops. I actually might have to go back on there, buy those Step Brothers pops that they have, those, both of them for $70 ship to see if those are real, because for $70 ship for both of the Step Brother pops, that's really cheap. So this other one, this other Jordan pop, This is authentic. These pops are authentic. This 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 pops authentic. So toydrops.com that I questioned myself whenever I first heard about them when I questioned uh Dr. Applesauce Will on on a uh, Instagram and YouTube, you know. I said, "Dude, is this website real? Is this legit?" I I had to find out. It is. I'm kind of shocked. So yeah, this isn't sponsored by toydrops.com or anything like that. I have no affiliation with them. This is honestly just a, I had to find out because I've been asked this by I don't know how many people, followers of mine have said, what is up with this toydrops.com? I've, I've, I've heard about them from many people. I had to find out firsthand. So I bought two pops. Let's find out. And uh, at least these two, these are authentic. Are all the pops on the website going to be authentic? I can't vouch for that. I don't know. These two Jordan pops, these are authentic. I'm probably going to buy some more. I'm going to test the website a little bit more because their pops are insanely underpriced in value.
that's my review. Real versus fake. I give these the stamp of real for half the price. Crazy. Crazy.